Okay, let us discuss this type of problem where the limit values are different. Here the limit value is not from minus one to. So how to approach this one? So for this type of problem, we need to remember one thing that the limit can be changed in such a way that we can write x is equal to b minus a upon two into theta plus b plus a by two. This you need to remember. If you know this, then changing the limit is not a big deal. X, why I have taken X? Because in this question, the function is of X. So that's why I have given it. If it is a function of Y, you can take it Y also. So B and A, what is this B? B is your upper limit. Then A, what is A? That is lower limit. What is this beta? New function. Beta, I have taken new function because if you are going to change the limit, you need to change the function also, right? So beta, I have taken new function. Why only data? Just to do represent because I already I told this was some natural for you. So there we have taken data. So here also I have taken data. You can take anything. You can take Z, X, A, B, anything. X is given. So apart from it, whatever you want, you can take. So I am taking this data. So by using this relation, you need to convert the limit. So now how will you convert? See, in this problem, X, X value is given how much X is equal to, let us write X is equal to upper limit, 4, lower limit, 2 by 2 into theta plus upper limit, 4 plus lower limit, 2 by 2. So we can write here X is equal to theta plus 3. Now what we need to do, we need to take here differentiating dx by d theta. How will you write this? If you want to differentiate this, d from here I am writing dx with respect to theta is going to be 1. If dx by d theta is going to be 1, therefore we can write dx is equal to d theta, right? Here, if you will differentiate it, right? So, what will happen? dx will be equal to d theta. dx by d theta is going to be 1 only. So, dx will be equal to d theta because here, if you will differentiate what is going to be constant to 0, here dx, here dz. So, dx will be equal to d theta. So, dx is equal to d theta. So, in place of dx, we have to write d theta, and in place of x, we have to replace it by theta plus 3 and in place of dx we will replace it by d theta. So what I have done? I have changed the function. Okay. I have changed the function. As soon as I change the function, so what we will write? We need to replace x by theta plus 3 and we need to replace dx by d theta. So now the new integration, the new, I can say the problem. So now we have a new problem. The same problem just change minus 1 to 1 now the limit is from minus 1 to 1 and this in place of x we can write theta plus 3 into in place of dx we need to write d that's it now the problem is as usual same the previous type of problem again we need to find first what n so 2n minus 1 is equal to order 1 here, right? Power is 1, 1. So n is equal to what? n is equal to 1. So this is the problem of Gauss point 1. So we will have x1 value and w1 value. So what will we do now? We can write this integration from minus 1 to 1 f of x 
into Vx. So I have converted this in this format now minus one to one f of theta v right in this format. So how we will write? We will write w one f of theta. That's it. Because only one n is equal to one, so n is equal to one means what? We will have w one. We will have x one. Because the formula. Let me write the formula first to make it more clear to you. Formula is summation i is equal to one to n, right? W one, W i, f of x i for this, right? So if we have converted in terms of theta, so we can write here i is equal to one to n W i function of function I have changed to theta, so theta. Value is going to be same. Whatever the value is there for x a one, the same value is for theta. Was only the function I have changed because we need to convert the limit. So for changing the limit, we need to convert the function. So for function already in the question we have given function in terms of x, so I have changed that function in terms of theta. So in that table, if I am I am I have written here x one is equal to suppose zero. So it doesn't mean that if we have Theta one is there, so theta theta one is already going to be something different. No, that is only theta. Any function, suppose the function is given in terms of z, so that will become z one value. If any function is given in terms of k, that will become k one value. If function is given in theta, that is that will be the value of theta one. Value. Only we need to see see one thing that the integration should be. So having limit of minus one to one, and we need to check n value. Apart from that, everything is okay. Everything is set now. So if you will expand it, because we will have we have n is equal to one only. So we can write here minus one to one theta plus three into d theta will be equal to w one f of theta. So we need to find this W one. What will be the W one value from that table? You can see the W one value is e to two into function. What is function? Theta plus three. So in place of theta, we need to write theta one. What is theta one value? Zero. So this is the thing. Function of theta one is zero. So equal to two into function. Function is what? Theta plus three. So in place of theta, the value will be zero plus So the answer is going to be six. That's it. This is the solution of this type of problem. So basically, what I have done, I have just changed the limit by changing the function. Just I have changed the function x in terms of theta. I have changed the dx in terms of. So how will you get this? X in terms of theta by using this relation. This relation you have to remember. Second thing you have to remember is we will always use this. D X by D theta is equal to one. So just put it here everything, and you are ending up with the value of. We are ending up with the final result of this integration. Either having the limit from two to four. So finally we can write here. So finally the answer we got. This one, right? So therefore, we can write the integration from two to four x into dx is going to end up with the result of two. If you want to verify, you can verify. You can verify. You can verify. How you will verify? Just see. Very simple. X into dx. So it will be x square by two. Integration. Upper limit is four. Lower limit is two. So in place of x, we need to put four. So four square upon two minus lower limit two. So two square upon two. Solve it. You will end up with the value of two. Four square is sixteen by two. Eight. Four two square is four. Four by two. Means two. Eight minus two. Six. That's it. The same value we are getting. So this is how we have to approach when limit is different. So when they will change the limit, they won't give such complicated uh, function. They will give a very simple function like this, 
and they will ask you to solve this by using loss quadrature. So remember, before approaching the problem, you need to convert the limit from minus one to one, and then you need to approach as same as the previous problem. Okay.